All right, question eight. Nikki drew a segment or line KM on a coordinate plane with point K located at 4, 5 and point M located at 2, negative 3. Then she drew KM, which is the image from the pre-image. The result of the transformation of KM described by XY is transformed to 4X, comma y, uh, 4Y, sorry. What are the coordinates of point K? Okay, so I, I can see where this is confusing because of maybe the wording and the way they set it up, but mathematically, not too much here. Um, Nikki drew, let's go back to the beginning. So Nikki drew this, this line right here, KM, on the coordinate plane with point K, so I'm just gonna write it out, point K located at four, five, and point M located at two, negative three. Okay, then she drew KM, which are like the dilation ones, so it's gonna be like this, not the dilation, I'm sorry, the transformations of these real quick. Um, she drew uh, image KM, the result of the transformation of KM described by 4X and 4Y. Well, what does that mean? Are we adding four? Are we subtracting four? Well, we're multiplying by four. So basically, we're multiplying everything by four here to come up with the transformation for the new coordinates for both K and M. Now, the question says, what are the coordinates of point K? We don't even need M right here, okay? We just need K, that's what they want. Well, we're multiplying by 4. So you're going to multiply them both by 4. 4 times 4 here is 16. And 5 times 4 here is 20. So point K is 16, 20. That's point D. That's the answer. If you continued, you do the same thing here. You'd say, hey, if they wanted M, you'd say, hey, 2 times 4 there is 8. And you'd say um, also uh, 3 times uh, negative 3 times 4 there is negative 12 and you could do that one but we don't need that I'll just exit out we do need this that's the answer we're just multiplying by 4